Hi friends, welcome to yet another session on VC++ MS programming under programming made easy. I am your own Santosh Avala Murthy. Today we are going to see a very important feature of MFC. And if someone asks any questions about you in any of the interview, you will definitely have a question on this because this architecture is very specific to MFC and MFC is known for this particular architecture. That is nothing but document view architecture. In this session, I'm going to explain you about the document view architecture in a very simple way that anyone will be able to understand it. Now let's see what is document view architecture. Now document view architecture is nothing but the separation of the document and the view. Now what is the document we are talking about here? Document is nothing but your data and view is nothing but your display. So document contains the data and view displays the data and manages the user interaction with it. So I'll give you a few simple examples with which you will be able to understand this in a very clear way. Now document object, it helps to read and write the data to persistent storage. Now you might be wondering what is persistent storage? A persistent storage is nothing but a permanent storage, like writing the data to a disk in the form of a file, okay? So the document object helps us to read and write the data to a file. Next, there can be multiple views for a single document. For example, we can have a spreadsheet view and chart view. So the data will be in one format and views, there can be many views displaying the data in different formats. So you can have a graphical format, you can have a tabular format, you can have a text format. So it's up to the developer to decide what should be the display format. So a document can have multiple views. So please keep this in mind. This is a very, very important question that comes in any interview. The document also takes on the task of updating all the views whenever the data changes. So if your data changes, that gets reflected in all the views. So you change a portion of the data in one view, that changes will be reflected in the other views as well. Now here is a pictorial representation of the document view architecture. So document is the one which talks to the storage to read and write and view is for the display purpose which will be seen by the user now let me give you a simple example to understand this now you look at us we human beings we are a single human being depending on the situation our views will change means our displays or our dressing what i can think of will change if there is a function we go for an ethnic wear if there if you are going to office you will wear an office dress a formal dress right if you are at home you will be more casual so what it is a person is there but he is is displays or his appearance will vary depending on the situation. So same person, different appearances, that is nothing but our document view architecture. So the person is the document and the various appearances are nothing but the views. I think all of you understood about this document view architecture with this simple example. Now let's see what are the key classes involved when we talk about document view architecture. 
so c document as the name suggests so this is the document class which allows to save and restore the data to a permanent storage a view class is attached to a document and acts as an intermediary between the document and the user so there are many c view classes that are available readily from mfc such as c edit view where it can be you can edit the content so we are going to see an example of a c edit view we have seen the same similar example in my previous session also so the similar example we are going to see how the how you can create a c view a c edit view as a view class then we also have c scroll view this is for the scrolling purpose where you can create a multiple scrolling sections in one screen frame wind so this supports objects that provides the frame around one or more views of a document and manages the positioning of the control bars views and other child windows inside the frame windows client area now what this frame wind class does this provides a border to your view class and also it acts as a placeholder for the toolbars then for the menus etc okay so that is the frame window class and then we have a c doc template class which coordinates between my document class view class and frame window object so the doc template acts more of a binding agent between these three classes now let's see some of the key functions which we will be using whenever you are working with the document view architecture now one is how do you get the document object there is a function called deck get document in c document class with which you will be able to get the document object then c document also has a function called update all views which updates multiple views of the same document like what we were talking about just a couple of minutes ago when you have multiple views and any data that you change in one view will get reflected in the other view so what you need to do is whenever there is a change in the view you have to call update all views function of the document which reflects the changes in other views then c document also has a serialization from serialized function which helps us to store the data to a persistent storage so serialization is a process or serialization means you are storing the data to a persistent that means your hard disk with the form of a file that is called serialization serialization is nothing but storing the data okay then in c view there is a on drop function which helps to render your documents data so if you want to have different views for the data basically you will be overriding this on drop function and where you will be displaying the data the way you want it to be displayed now let us see the differences between sdi and mdi when we talk about document view architecture there are two kinds of applications which are provided by mfc that is sdi and mdi it's a single document interface and multiple document interface so this is also very very important to understand what is the difference between sdi and mdi so we'll be seeing uh, in the next session how to create an sdi application and an mdi application and what is the difference between the two so if it is sdi single document interface only one document data can be displayed at a time that means you can open one document at a time to open another document you need to open another instance of the application right the best example for this is notepad so if you see the notepad application you can open one file at a time correct so if you want to open one more file you have to open 
one more application of notepad then only we can open it that's why it is called a single document interface now when it comes to multiple document interface so once you understand single document it is very easy to understand multiple document interface so as the name suggests you will be able to open multiple documents at a time without opening a new application of the same right so what happens in case of multiple document interface is under one main frame window there will be uh, child windows which will be created for each of the document that you open okay so there is a one main frame window and multiple child windows will be available so the best example for mdi is a notepad plus plus so where you have seen that you can open multiple documents at a time without closing your notepad plus plus application so i hope you are very clear with the differences between sda and mda now let's see the code how actually it gets created and where is all these classes how they will be created so first we will start with sdi application so i'm going to create a new sdi application and we will just observe the code how it works so this is the visual studio so go to file new project so under mfc so the option will come here so now here you see you can see here there is a single document multiple document and then dialog based applications okay so what we are focusing today is single document and multiple documents so first let us observe the single document application okay so i am going to select mfc standard as my uh, project style so here you can see document view architecture support is selected by default suppose if i select a dialog based application which doesn't select support uh, document view architecture it gets disabled so now we are looking at sdi so let us keep it as it is then i will keep the other options as it is the final thing what i'm going to change is my view class base class for the view now here if you see this is the view class what type of view you want to create so if you see here multiple view classes are supported by mfc so one is edit view it is more of a edit control which is embedded form view so this is very useful when you want to create a, a dialog based kind of application with multiple forms to be supported html edit view this is mainly for your html uh, content if you want to display within where you primarily as html content then we can go for html edit view then there is list view rich edit view scroll view tree view and c view okay so c view is the base class and on top of this these classes have been derived so now i'll create the base class as c edit view so later if you want you can change c edit view to your own view if required if you want to do that customization so for this purpose we don't have to do anything then i'm going to click on finish so what we did we just selected a single document interface application now we will see what are the various classes that get created so if you see here if you go to the solution explorer you can see here all the classes that are got created so you can see here from the names only we'll be able to understand what type of class it is 
Now here I have a main frame dot head. This is our frame window class. Then application dot h. This is the main application class. So remember one thing: any MFC application, there will be a application class, which is the main entry point that acts as the entry point. That is where our application gets created. Then here I have the document classes, so header file and the CPP file. So let us go to class view to get a better understanding. So here you can see here there is a frame window class, there is a document class, and there is a view class, right? Now let us run the application and see how the application works. Then we can uh, just get into the code to more uh, to understand it in a better way so i'm going to run the application here so it is building the application now so this is the application so as since we selected edit class you can directly edit the text in this particular document okay now here actually this is the view what we are entering the text basically which acts as an interface this is c edit view class so this is the view so we are indirectly, indirectly we will be working on a document. So when you save this, then that is what our persistent storage. So you can store this particular file, let's say sdi.txt. I'm just storing on my desktop. Now the file got stored. Now if you close and again you run it, will be able to open the file you can see here it is available in the recent files sdi.txt so the file so the document is stored as a file which can be retrieved okay and the main interface between the user and to your document is your view class which is nothing but where we are entering the text here now this is the frame window basically which is holding all the menus and the toolbars as well as which acts as a border for our view class okay so i hope it's clear for all of you so this is my overall application now if i want to open another document i will not be able to open parallelly so if i open the new document the old document is gone that is why it's called as SGI application, right? I can open only one document at a time. Now, this is a full-fledged application, which also supports like saving and retrieving the data. You can directly go and do the printing operations. So all that is done here. So let's see the classes here. Some key functionalities we will be seeing. So if you see here, this is my class name. You can see since we selected edit view as the base class. So edit view has become the base class for the current applications view class. Okay. So here you can see there is a function called get document which can be used to get the document object there are already functions are added prepare printing begin printing and end printing because we supported printing to be supported if you remove that these functions will not be created so these are the various uh, functions that got created so if any of the things we need to overwrite we need to overwrite them now if i go to the class 
implementation file so this is my view class so where your document is included here and you can see here the file print and the commands are added this is called message map which i'll be doing a video separately on this which is a very very important topic with respect to mfc is considered so the code is added by default from by the mfc framework basically the project template the cloud wizard so if you want to override or you want to have our own application uh, changes we can always override these functions then this is the view class this is our document class so not much uh, function here you can see the serialized function is overwritten basically we use c archive class for uh, storing and uh, retrieving the data so this is how the data is getting serialized so if you want to write your own serialization logic then we can override these functions okay so this is my header class so it is derived from c document class now if you go to the frame window so this is the frame window uh, head, uh, declaration file so where it is derived from c frame window so you can see here there is a toolbar object and there is a status bar object so as i explained we were toolbar status bar or menu and then even the view they all will be uh, embedded within the frame window okay. then this is our application class which is always derived from win app this is the and there can be one application object for your application there cannot be more than one application objects right so now we quickly will open uh, mdi application so we'll create mdi application and let's see how it is uh, created so i'm going to create a new mdi application again mfc application so in this time we'll be keeping the default which is nothing but multiple documents So again, I'll just change the view to C view, edit view as my base class, and then click on finish. So if you run the application, So this creates a MDA application. Okay. So why this type of UI is coming? Because this was selected as a Visual Studio style. So for the simplicity, let us create a standard MDA application. New project. MFC. So I will use it as MFC standard. Next, next, next. And I'm going to change my view as C edit view. Finish. So if you run the application. So when you see MDI and SDI, in case of MDI, there will be multiple additional classes will be created because we need to have a child frame window now here this is the main frame window which is the main application and this is the child window child frame window you can see here which i'm moving the window which holds each of the document and this is my main frame window where i'm having my toolbar and my status bar as well as this is the placeholder for your child frame window which holds each of the document now each document when i say new 
a new document will be created basically a new view will be created for the document so i can open any number of documents within the same application okay and you can enter different text let's say this is my uh, document one this is my document two this is my document three so each of these documents you will be able to save and retrieve separately now let's see the classes here so similar to sgi so similar classes are also available here you have a view class you have a document class we have an application class we have mainframe class but additionally we have a child frame class right so this is the difference between sdi and mda in sdi we will not have child frame class but in a mdi we will have child frame class also in addition to mainframe class okay now let's back get back to the ppt here so after this section we will be going through some of the interview questions so whenever you go and attend any bc++ mfc uh, interview the interview will not be complete without asking any questions on the document view architecture it is that much important in fact if you observe most of the time your questions start with document view architecture okay and one more thing before we get into this is it the only way of developing the application is document view architecture is mandatory the answer is no we can develop applications without document view architecture that is where there is a document uh, dialog based applications which you can develop but document view architecture gives us lot of flexibility when you want to support multiple views to the same document and when you want to separate your document functionality and view functionality separate your data and the display separate you want to separate them then the best approach is to use document view architecture now let's get into interview questions the first question is what is document view architecture simply putting it is nothing but the separation of the data and the view data and the display what are the classes involved in document view architecture the classes involved are c document c view c frame and c doc template also in case of mdi we also have c child frame window classes but the major classes are these are the classes document view frame window and document template one view can be associated with multiple document objects yes or no the answer is no because one a view can be attached to a single document one document can be associated with multiple view objects answer is true but the reverse is not true for example like i was talking about so you have a data which you can display in tabular format you can display it in a bar chart format you can display it in a, a record format like multiple formats you can display so that is possible a document can be associated with multiple views but the reverse is not true what is the base class for a view it is c view class now give examples of the derived classes of c view supported by project template there are plenty of uh, uh, classes here so just ignore c view so all other things you can answer that is edit view scroll view dav record view form view rich edit view review etc how to access document object from view class it is using your get document function what is serialization so serialization is a process of storing and retrieving the data 
to and from persistent storage so what is the class used for serialization the class used is c archive class okay so that's it i have for today so as part of assignment you can uh, create sdi and mdi applications just go through the classes what it is created so if you create them separately and see the difference for yourself so thank you so much for watching do if you like this video do like it put your comments share it with your friends and subscribe for the channel if you are not subscribed click on the bell icon to get the notification on my videos so i'm going to put a lot of videos on vc plus plus mfc and also the general concepts on uh, program development so thank you so much once again uh, see you next time bye bye